One day, in the town of Nazareth, a young woman named Mary had a most amazing visitor, an angel. Who are you? Please don't be afraid, Mary. I am the angel Gabriel. I've come to bring good news. News? For me? God has chosen you from all the women of the world to be the mother of his son. God has chosen me? How can this be? Everything is possible with God. You will have a son. You will be the son of God. And you will call the baby Jesus. Whatever God wants, I will do. About a man named Joseph. One night, an angel came to Joseph in his dream. Joseph, God has great and wonderful plans for you and Mary. Mary is going to have God's son. He will be God's promised king. Give him the name of Jesus and take good care of Mary and the baby king when he comes. Mary. My Mary. Augustus Caesar, the emperor of the whole Roman Empire, wanted to count the people who lived under his rule. Everyone was ordered to go to their hometown so they could be counted. Joseph had to take Mary to Bethlehem, the town where he was from. Bethlehem was very far away. We're here. We came from very far away. Yes, so have a lot of people. And my wife is expecting a baby. I'll tell you what I can do. We have a stable out back. It's full of animals, but at least you'll have a roof over your heads. It'll be warmer and safer than sleeping out in the open. Thank you. Very kind. Come on, I'll show you. You have some important company. I hope you'll be comfortable here. It's the best I can do. Thank you. We're very grateful. Let's try and make the best of it. During that night, a most wonderful thing happened. Born, God's little son. We'll call the baby Jesus. Mary and Joseph love their new baby boy very much. I must wrap him to keep him warm and comfortable. The ox is feeding us. Jesus can sleep in here. And so the baby Jesus lay in the manger, surrounded by the warmth of love and the protection of God, who was now ready to let all of heaven spread the news of the baby's birth. That night, just outside the town of Bethlehem, shepherds were watching their sheep. Shepherds, I bring good news of great joy. Tonight a most wondrous thing has happened. Here in Bethlehem, the Son of God was born. He is Christ the Lord, the King who comes from God. His name is Jesus, and he is wrapped snugly in a manger. A manger? You can go see him right now. 
is the happiest time of the world. I always thought he'd be in a palace. Let's go into town and see what the angel's talking about. Let's go into town and see what the angel's talking about. I just said that. Then, let's go. Whoa! This way. from God. We know about him because an angel came and told us. Then many angels came and sang about God's glory and peace on earth. The angel said he'd be wrapped snugly and lying in the manger. Just like this. It's true. What the angel said is true. The Son of God, the King, in a manger. Mary's heart filled with wonder as the shepherds told their story. She knew that her newborn child was the Son of God. traveled far from the east. They kept following the star, never taking their eyes off it, not knowing where it would lead them. The wise men followed the star right into Bethlehem. And there, right above the manger, was the star. The wise men knew they had been guided to the right place. We've traveled from distant lands to celebrate the newborn king. May we come in? Please. Because of the star. We followed it all the way here. We have brought gifts. The wise men gave Jesus gold and sweet smelling perfume and incense. Thank you. Thank you for letting us worship the king. We thank God for his great wisdom. He has sent us his son. Praise be to God. Hooray for the new king! Praise be to God! Hooray for the new king! Everyone rejoiced and thanked God for sending them his son, the new king of the world. Oh, my God. 